We are waiting for a call back about the oven, which doesn't work properly. Right, it's time to take her in. He says he might have it done for Friday. You having fun there? Here she comes, whistling Lil. I'll swap that bun. I'll swap that, that whistle for a bun. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Welcome to a new vlog. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Lee, and uh, we are at the lodge and doing some more van improvements. So if you saw the last couple of vlogs, you've seen that we went away and tested the van, uh, our camper van build, uh, at a couple of sites, an off-grid site, uh, like a wild camping site and an on-grid site. So we could just test the two different things. We got a snagging list, we got a jobs list to do while we're there. We we knew we'd get sort of like um, ideas of what needed improvement on the van, what wasn't gonna work, what was gonna work. And um, that's what we've been doing since we got back. Um, it's a couple of days later. It's actually afternoon, we're just trying to see what time it is. Not that it matters, but it's quarter past three. So we've not done any vlogging today but so far i've just been editing the van trip vlogs and nick's been doing some of the upgrades in the van so i'm going to go and show you because he needs me now um so i've just got a dust sheet i'm going to get the hoover and um let's go and have a look what he's been getting up to right he's changed his mind he doesn't need the dust sheet or the hoover but he needs the valspar paint let me just turn the music off and a clean paintbrush well not clean but it's clean um with a fine tip so right so do you want to go through what we've been what you've been doing so far today i've done this because this was just plain wood yeah i've carpeted this corner and planed some off that door so i've painted one wall i need to paint the other yeah. bit gray so that looks better because now um, if you saw the last vlog we decided when we we're out on a trip that we'd like to keep that open a little bit more just so we can see through the front so obviously now we're going to be able to see the side of this I've so also, you made it look pretty i've also filed the paint holes that are on top of that fascia board they need another couple of coats mm -hmm. now we need to get in and paint the hole in the front of the chair yeah and the lat that sticks out when you pull it out yeah just so that just making things look nice and and neat we are waiting for a call back about the oven which doesn't work properly we emailed where we got it from and they've just asked us a few questions that we need to reply to i've replied oh right so it doesn't just, work doesn't work right so we're just waiting so they, they asked us to try, try something but it doesn't work we went to a place this morning who do is the service center they weren't interested they well, just said it's a conversion we don't do conversions as soon as they they heard it was a conversion rather than a pre-built one that we didn't want to know they were yeah. like nope well they need to stop selling it then or offering it then because you buy them on the internet so they've got to be you installed the warranty, somewhere yeah so you, you, they've got to well we're just waiting anyway to, to um to hear back to see where we we take it for a warranty repair or something whatever right so you're going to do some touch-ups on the paint yep it's so cold out here i'm glad you've come to help <laughs> So we're just um, painting the bits that you'll be able to see when it's out. I'm not doing all this here. No. I mean, I could do if you got me some masking tape. I could do a couple of inch in like we did with the kitchen cupboards. Right. I can't, what was the last thing we vlogged? I can't remember. Just showing things what, we were do what you were up to in the van. Yes. So um, when I took the van in last week and Taylor had her refit, shall we say, um, the garage said that he wanted a back to check that there was no coolant leaks and sump leaks underneath. So I rang him up this morning and I said, can I bring it up to this, this afternoon for you to do the check? And we had an airbag light on because we took the seat out and it had disturbed something. So I said to him at the time, clear the airbag message if you can, which he did, and that's cleared now. And he asked how it was running. And I explained what had happened on Saturday when we were driving. And he said, it's something you've done because I've been, I've been moving electrical cables around because we run the DC uh, to DC charger cable. We rang positive and negative together and they were going through the same conduit. So I pulled some wires back and moved the little fuse box from the battery into the, uh, under the seat. So it's not going under this crushed part of the seat where it could rub. Anyway, I explained on, I explained what happened on Saturday that we got error warning lights and messages and this won't working and that won't working. And then we reset it and then it worked again. So he said, it sounds like something you've disturbed. And I've said, yeah, but all I've done is I've pulled the fuse box from the battery and pulled it back. Anyway, I've just checked all the fuses, all the MIDI fuses to make sure all the connectors are secure, solid as a rock. I need to order some spares, by the way, that put that on the list. Um, so whilst I was um, looking how I can reroute the negative side of the DC to DC charger cable, I had the floor up and I noticed under where the fuse box is, there's water. And I have seen water there before when it's rained. James used to, to used to leak in the same area. 
So I'm thinking that problem that we had was the pressure washer blasting water in and it's basically washed all over the, the fuse box um, and caused one of the relays to touch together and, and shut down everything down. Um, because the bits that I moved under the seat is solid as a rock. There's no way it could be that. Although it is a coincidence. The problem is we made three changes that day. So I've just found a puddle of water when I've took the mats up. So I'm thinking at the minute that that is potentially what caused it. So hopefully, that would be nice easy. yeah, that would that, that would explain it and put my mind at rest. So tomorrow afternoon we're taking um, Taylor down to Hull to get it wrapped. Um, it should take about five days. It should be done by over the Easter weekend, and then when we come back, we've just got the trims to do. And in the meantime, I'm going to order a two meter, 16 mil with lugged battery cable. I do have spares, but I don't have the. Um, um, I'd have to go back to my cousins or back to the apartment to get the crimp thingamajig. I'm just going to order them off, off Amazon and I can use that to extend the negative side of the cable and run it outside that conduit and around the seat to into the positive side of the battery that way. That will give up, that will make the, the wires that go under the seat are all positive and they'll not be squashed and crushed by the seat and then I'm going to put a bit of rubber in to um, seal it in around it, or even some conduit, maybe, just to protect the, the, sheath, the sheath of the cable. So that's a half an hour to a two hour job, depending on how easy it is to get the seat up again, because we have to unbolt it from the floor, lift it up, put the conduit in, and then reseal it. And also as well, um, the other day I was drilling under the seat and lots of metal shards, have gone into the pool of where all the cables are and when we were at the garage he spotted it and he says if they pierce those cables you're talking major bang while you're driving so i've just hoovered the inside of all under the seats out and got all the metal fragments out so uh there we go and i've done all the titivating and the tidying the door's now fine the seats fine that's painted the trims are fine the door's fine all that's done I just want to go away again. I'm exhausted. I want to go away again. I'm exhausted. Unfortunately, like Nick says, he has to go in tomorrow for about a week or so. For the wrap. Um, so, um, it is kids' holidays, so the kids are coming over. We said, right. I definitely want to go away. <laughs> it's going in for a wrap. I want to go away. So come over. You're burning them beans. And um, that's going to be what we're doing this week while Taylor is getting wrapped. Yep. So, um, fingers crossed, a couple of weeks, we'll set off on our UK road trip. What do you think of that? Exciting. Welcome to the next day. Um, welcome. Yes, welcome to the next day. We didn't vlog uh, too much yesterday, as you saw. Today is the day that Taylor goes away again into um, a garage for a wrap to be done. She's having her livery fitted. We've been watching Downton. Um, yeah, but that's not something to do with Downton. The livery is. Yeah, livery is livery's like um, your exterior presentation. Make sure I don't fall. As I'm going backwards. Yeah. So if please do, we're going to talk If you haven't seen it already, this is the colour that Taylor is going to be wrapped in. So she's like changed his mind now. She's going from silver. Yeah, because we've, we've had to pay for it half of it up front. It's going from silver to the colour is called gloss charcoal metallic. So she's going to be a nice dark metallic grey colour. Um, unfortunately, it's going to take about a week to do, so it's another week without the van. Well, it's not supposed to go in until tomorrow, but he asked if we can drop it today, so yeah. I'm hoping he finishes his last job this morning, and we can get it down this afternoon and we can at least get it started. Mm. But we've got some jobs to do in it before we take it down, so... Have we? Yeah. Mm, best I've got to reroute that DC to DC charger cable because it's running next to the positive, so I need to go and get a cable. Now, the one that my cousin made, I can't bloody find it anywhere. At least put it somewhere which would have been perfect. And then I've got to pull it out, and then I'm also going to pull, um, the way that VW have designed the cables, they actually put all the positive cables touching directly metal that go under the seat. When I took it to the garage, he said that's really bad design and it's potentially a fire hazard. So I've got some of this um, coin rubber matting, so I'm going to take, we're going to have to lift the seat up again, I'm afraid, straight a tube, and put the cables through that and then let the seat squash down on it so it won't rub against the um, the metal of the seat and at the same time pull that cable out and route it around the outside so positive and negatives are separate and then when that's done it's actually quite safe if, you, if that makes sense yeah hopefully yeah well, get a move on then if we've got all sorts to do I'm get a move on uploading a video to youtube it's our um our surf shout video for this month hurry up however in the meantime i have some hellos to do so 
Um, hello to uh, Damien and Lynn, uh, Kat M, Betty J, Martha, Conrad M, Carol C, Denise E, Ryan S, Martina F, Bryn G, Sharon M, Angie R, Victoria R, and that's it. Thanks for joining our Thank you, guys. Uh, community guys. Most of them are chatting to us on Discord. Um, some of them are just commenting on posts, but whatever's right for you, go for it. Let's go. Come on. Right, we've got the cable that Nick needed. Um, yeah. What? Bird uh, just shat on the car. We've got the cable that Nick needed, so we're heading back to the lodge, but we're gonna uh, just stop off at a shop. I think it's a pound stretch or something like that, um, on an industrial estate where we got a few bits for the fan. Um, we need another mat, like a draining mat, because we use one to protect the bedding when we're washing up, but then we need another one now to put the actual pots on when we're washing up. Um, so we're um, gonna get that. As I was saying earlier in the lodge before Nick interrupted me, it's a shame that Taylor's gonna go away again for another week because we could just go off again, couldn't we now? I'd love to, I'd love to. A little bit cold at the minute though. That's why we have a heater. It's, well, it's 10 true. degrees and you've got your shorts on. Yeah, but on a night time, it's like three degrees. Well, yeah, we just put the heater on, so. So, uh, yeah, we could have gone off, but obviously we can't for another week. When we go again, it'll be like for weeks. Yeah, hopefully. Which hopefully will be next week when it comes back from being wrapped. I'm going to say, we're not going next week, kids are coming. Well, no, the kids coming tomorrow because it's um, school holidays at the moment, so the kids coming tomorrow uh, with my sister and my folks. And then when they go home at the weekend, our friends Tracy and Neil and Faith are coming to stay at the lodge for a couple of days. One guest checks out, next guest checks in. Yep, um, and then hopefully once they leave, we'll get a call saying the van's ready. We're waiting for another call to say the van's wrapped and hopefully we'll pick it up and we'll be amazed by the wrap, hopefully. I think you'll look at it and think, ooh, them trims look filthy. Oh, wow, we've got to sort the trims as well. Um, obviously, we wait till we get it back and then see what colour they need to be. Hopefully, it'll just be that polish roll that we need to put on, yeah. um, just to make them black, and then um, head off on our way. Um, we've no idea where we're going in the UK. We're just going to go, I don't know. North. North. We're going north. We're heading north. Oh, we're like Newcastle, Durham, and stuff like that. We're going to go up to Alloy Castle. Yeah, because um, I've, I've never been to Newcastle, have you? Uh, no. But that Middlesbrough, I can remember. Durham. Um, Newcastle and then go across Scotch Corner towards Lake District yeah and come back yeah, down the other Lake side District, yeah back down the other side yeah um, all the way down to Cornwall and then back up Cornwall along the south coast calling it Eastbourne and then back up the east coast Norfolk area all those kind of places back up to the lodge that's two weeks yeah well I imagine we'd need more two weeks for all that well probably we're not on a time no. restriction, are we? So just go and uh, take as long as we want. Just need some warm weather now. Yes, it's a pound stretcher. So I did. I think we got it here before, didn't we? Got all the stuff for um, tailoring here. Yeah. So uh, hopefully they'll have the same one. Right. This is them. Um, that not The black on that makes it not match the worktop. The um, cupboards. So we're just going to get black again. I quite like that one yeah, actually. If you're going to have to do that, you could get them both and replace them both. 375. Stick with black. Yeah, we'll just get the black Stick one. Black. I do prefer that one though, because it's almost exactly the same colour as the uh, cupboards. Should have bought that first I time. I know, we should. Mm, that'll do. Yeah. So, yes, we got quite a lot of stuff. Oh, let's have another look for some um, mugs. I know we got some other day, but they weren't the greatest. Um, so, what's that? What? Oh, that's like a spice. Oh, that's the one oh, we got, isn't it? Got it. The spice uh, rack. The electric water. Everything. Just at um, a cafe, just sorting my Instagram posts out. Go and follow us on Instagram if you do it already. No, I'm just having a bacon sandwich. And um, there we go. That's our Instagram, The Lodge Guys. And we also have subscribers um, on there, which you can join if you want to and get an exclusive feed. And yes, Nick is in the background having a bacon sandwich. We've got some brown Drowned sauce in, on there. Drowned in brown sauce. Lovely. Right, we just finished some electrical work. So what we've done is we've rerouted this cable, which is actually running alongside the positive, which is a bad idea. So instead of going under the seat now and then under the cowling on the seat, it now goes around, right round the um, battery bay and back in on the other side where the positive is. So they're completely separate. We've got these rubber grommets now that I've shoved in in every location. So there's one there, one there, one on the corners, one all the way around and then one going into the battery box. Then the cab. Nice and tidy. Nice and tidied. And then um, 
just need to close the bonnet because we've been looking for signs of water coming in down in this corner still not found anything and then this is what I did yesterday so it's nicely sealed now so it's a tight snug fit and there you go it's tight there and then I painted um, all this edge yesterday all the way down so there's no wood exposed anymore what do you do with this crack? there's no I can do about that I can put more filler in but it's going to keep doing it mm. um, I painted the touch-ups on this we painted the screw hole on that there and we painted this bit here and this and then about six inch in so when it's extended you won't see any wood and then right up at the top and these need another touch up there's screw holes there there and there which just need another coat of paint after i filled them yesterday and now what are we, sir? i'm going to ring what the are guy we, and ask him if we can take her down I'm gonna go out in her. and then when we come back she should look like a brand new van right it's time to take her in he said he might have it done for Friday or Saturday. So he's going to be working on it over the weekend. So as soon as it's ready, I've said, let me know and I'll come down no matter what we're doing. We'll have to kick his guests out if it's finished. We'll just have to up in band. I'll just feed them and let them do it and we'll go and get it. Um, so um, it's gonna it's down in Hull, so it's going to take about five minutes. And um, I'm sure we'll call somewhere on the way back because we do need some food for tonight's tea. Probably. That's it. That will be the last time we see her silver. Um, unless there's some problem, which there probably will be because that's knowing our look. Anyway, um, next time we see her, she should be that colour, like a metallic, um, like a dark metallic grey. And then we have to get on with the trims and the um, the bumpers and things like that. Not sure how it's going to look yet because well, because the, the, the van is silver and the trims are like a, not a dark grey, but like well, yeah, a... They are kind of dark they're not, they, Well, they are when they're, when they're polytrolled. But what we don't want is we don't want the, the bumpers to be lighter than the paint. So it could mean that we end up having to um, paint the bumpers uh, black. So it totally depends on what she looks like when she comes back, but we'll find out. We can put some polytrol on a, on a small area. So yeah, if we have to get this black paint, it's like a, it's like a, it, you put it on with like a, like a, what you used to put um, shoe polish on with years ago or shoe dye. And apparently it lasts minimum of six months. Somebody's put it on on Amazon on the, on this particular listing that I've looked at, and it looks great. Um, a lot of people saying take the bumpers off and spray them, but that's going to be like a big job, and we've nowhere to do that sort of at the lodge anyway. So we'll just have to see what it looks like when she comes back, and we'll decide from then. Back at the lodge, and we have had a delivery of cushions, as you can see. Cushions. Cushions. So we wanted one for the cushion which our good friend Susan bought us right, for the I van. One here for that, so let me put that in. So instead of buying one, Nick bought eight. Well, they're all flat on the sofa. Yeah, they're all Never flat on the sofa. The day we bought it. They're all so, seven years old. So they're gonna all look really fluffy and fresh. Just a shame we've no van to put it in that minute. Well, that's true. Big tight nails. I have bought it right sizes. Because if not, we've got... What size are they? Well, um, no, that looks fine, that's fine. Perfect. Finally. There we go. A cushion for it. He's in a picture to Susan now. Right, sorted. Help me up this now. Yeah, having fun there. Yeah. Surrounded by new cushions. Battle of laughs. So we also got a uh, another delivery. Where is it? Oh, there we go. We've got some reusable toaster bags. I'm sure we've used these in the past. Reusable toaster bags? Reusable toaster bags. We're going to have some um, cheese oh. and onion toasties for our meal tonight. With chicken drumsticks. Oh yeah, you got some chicken drumsticks too. You look like you're sat on edge. I'm much more comfortable. <laughs> I kind of am. <laughs> I actually ordered the wrong size. So what I've done is I've put seven of the new ones on the bed and took the ones on the bed which are slightly bigger off and put them and double them up on the old ones in here. So this oh one's God. got two in, it feels that's like got I'm two in. On a, like a, a, a marshmallow Does something. it feel squashier? Yeah. Oh wow, yeah, that's nice. The, they're a bit firmer as well, aren't they? Yeah. They'll go down so the, the small ones have got singles in, the, the big ones have got two of the old ones in. Mm, this is much better. So there we go. I'm hungry. Not, 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 not yet. We're having cheese toast. Not yet. What time too early. It? I don't know what's going on. It is. It needs to be at least six o'clock. Half a sore. Half a sore, that's all it is. No chance. Mm. So whilst we've been waiting for Taylor, we've only been waiting for an hour, um, I've been doing the checklist for the van, which everybody has mentioned um, about doing and things that you need to remember before you drive off and that kind of stuff. So I'll show you what I've done. So this is the checklist um, that I've pulled together with the help from everybody in comments. 
So things we have to drop um, before we go, fresh water, grey waste, toilet waste and rubbish, uh, stowaway, TV, toilet, kettle, air fryer, max air, seats, hookup cable, chocks, plants, diffusers, and then things we have to turn off, water pump, gas bottle, inverter, disconnect the hookup, uh, garage light and oven off. So I'm going to get one of these laminated, put one in the back so we can check it off before we leave and then one on the, the, um, the mirror so it drops down before we leave so we can make sure we've done it all. Where do we get things laminated? Um, I'm not sure. We might have to buy a laminator. <laughs> I'm not buying a laminator just for that. <laughs> Somebody will have a laminator. Let's check the wives. Right, we're going to try these reusable toasty bags. So, uh, what? How come we've never discovered these? Well, um, we uh, we used to sell them. Uh, yeah, we did. I'm going to say they used to be very popular when we used to sell them. Toast sandwich in just three minutes. Make up chosen sandwich, place it in the toaster bag, and then put the bag with the opening up uppermost into the toaster and lower to start cooking. A reusable can be washed in warm supper water or placed over the plate. Prongs. Ooh, you can even dishwasher them. So it's a tip. For best results, make sure all fillings are at room temperature before making your sandwich. Right, so I need to defrost the bread because it's been in yeah. the freezer. We always um, freeze our bread because we only release it for like toast and stuff. So, um... Let me just open these. I thought we'd use some of these, you know, before in the past. We, 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 well, you remember years ago we used to have a sandwich maker that used to put um, cheese in and then squash the lid down. Yeah. That yeah, was like the equivalent, but yeah. that would be for the likes of toasty bags. Look like giant plasters. Oh god, the big bags. <laughs> right, so we're gonna have um, grated mature cheddar and some onions and if anyone's wondering what these things are just got the girls a few things rather than an easter egg because we'll be getting loads of easter eggs just got them a, a couple of little things like surprise stuff and some um, jellies which i could just open and eat quite easily right now well we can always go back and get some more <laughs> oh let's try this cheese what did we get co-op grated mature cheddar mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Right. they're sufficiently defrosted do you butter them I would do, wouldn't you? What do you think? Well, no, we're not bothered. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm not bothered. Right, this might be a bit too much onion. Mm. Oops, lots of it's on the floor. I'll pick it up in a minute. Mmm, these are delicious. Right, I'm going to wedge it on mm. in like high quantities. Mm -hmm. I'll leave enough for us to make another sandwich if we have this and we're still. Yep. Wanting it, do you know what I mean? Squish it down first. I've squish, squish it. I've just done it. It's not squished enough. Can it's you get gonna, your hands on my food, please? It's going to drop out. It's not going to drop out. It's going to melt. We've got to get in the solid bag. That's what I mean. That's got to fit in toaster as well. Got to get it back first. I need your help. A bit fiddly to get in the bags, aren't they? Well, yeah, the bag sizes are like Lilliputian bread. And I presume you put that in there like yeah. that. Well, yeah. It just doesn't seem right, does it? Well, there you go. There. Yeah. So we'll see what they're like when they when they come out. Right. Right. Yeah, one one pop. What? I don't think the cheese is cooked in the middle. The onion will definitely not be, but oh, I think it is. Do you think? Yeah, I think it. Yeah, they look oh, alright. Yeah. Right then. Let's try these. Success, go on then. Mmm. Good. It needs more cheese. More cheese. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the next day. It's a beautiful sunny day. Um, obviously Taylor is now in for her rap doing. Nick's pacing the, the, uh, the lodge. <laughs> um, that was a, a strange laugh. Well, <laughs> well, why do you want me to laugh? Like you, we'll go, just grin. Uh, mm -hmm. So, Amelie are uh, on the way. <laughs> <laughs> Um, the girls, my mum, my dad, and uh, sister. So I'm off to hide. I don't know if they're on the way yet or not. To be fair, uh, I imagine so. They're what not. time is it? No, they're not. Your dad's oh. tracker hasn't moved. Ah, uh, dad's got a tracker in his car and it, it, it dumps you. Just so we know where he is, in case he gets lost anywhere. In their drive. <laughs> so, so they're not set off yet. Um, so we're going to go out and for food tonight. It's all about food all the time. Obviously, when people come, we're going to do some of those cheese toasts because we know we'd like they'd like them. So we're going to get. I thought that was a bit heavy last night though. Be all right for kids, maybe, but maybe we'll we'll get some like I don't know fish and veg or something. Um, 
Because I thought that was a re a back, quite a bit. Quite heavy, that. I liked it. So when you go, I liked it, but when it we go, heavy. get like a toasty from a local shop, um, they do put, put some really nice coleslaw with it, creamy coleslaw and a bit of salad, a couple of nachos and stuff like but that. Kids are say, no, I coleslaw. So I thought we'd do something like that for tea tonight. You can get something else if you like. Yeah, but the light cheese toast is just without think, the onions. I think it was the thickness of the bread. Yeah, so we'll get some more bread, some cheese, some creamy coleslaw, some salad and some nachos and recreate what we usually get when we go out. Yeah. Yeah, you get I'm trying you to think what we have with the toasties. It is, it's white bread, isn't it? It's not thick, seeded, it's just white bread. Yeah. We well, that'll bring white bread. Oh, yeah, we'll need get some anyway, but you leave it in um, freezer for these toasty and lots bags. of cheese. Um, so we're gonna do that. So uh, let's get cracking on before they get here. Um, tomorrow when they're here, we're gonna hopefully go to a new cafe, which is open locally, which has video games on each table. So the girls will like that and I like it to be fair. And I'm sure Nicole Yeah, you've been it. talking about it, not the kids. <laughs> kids, the kids won't They'll like it kids. because they do milkshakes as well. But uh, yeah, no. you'll be on gaming machines and yeah. they'll be having milkshakes. Yeah, you'll be having milkshakes and all probably. Right, all this needs to go in the shed. This is all leftover van stuff. Well, why haven't you done it? Why have you just been sat there looking at it's videos on your video. phone? Like yeah, lost. I've just tidied the whole lodge. I've just realised something else that we didn't do properly when we built Taylor is when we run the cables under the floor, we put them in one of those uh, metal trays and they're not protected. I mean, it's protected with the, the sheath around the cable, but it's not in a conduit. So I've just ordered some from Amazon. So what we're going to have to do when it comes back is from the DC to DC charger, fasten the conduit on, pull it all the way through, then pull the conduit through and push the cable back through the conduit. Does that make sense? Yeah. And do it does. and do it twice. Always something to do on Taylor, isn't there? Just making it safe. I uh, put on a story on our Facebook, TikTok and Instagram. If you've got any of those three and you want to go and check us out, please do. Um, it was when we were in the van at the weekend and a lot of people saw our electric cable coiled round, like not fully extended. When it was outside. Uh, we've had tons of messages saying you, you can't do that, you can't do that, it's a fire risk. You've got to uncoil it all. Um, so what? We've been looking it up, haven't we? I've looked it up. So if your cable is rated, whatever your cable is rated at, 22% of the wattage is fine when it's coiled than when it's uncoiled because of heat. So the cable that we've got is 7,200 7, watt cable. It's a 16 amp cable and it's capable of transmitting 7,200 watts through the cable. So 22% of that is around 1,600. So you can you can still use it as long as it's for lighter Yeah, so, so to be honest, we'll probably just unreel it now, from now on. And somebody else said as probably. well, when they unreel it, um, they hook it over their driver's passenger- Wing mirror. Wing mirror, so it reminds them when they're getting like, oh shit, I am unhooked the, ca the electric cable for well, when they drive off. We'll also have this as well now, which yeah. I've adapted again, mm -hmm. because obviously so when we're going checklist. under bridges, we need to know heights, lengths, and widths, and the weight, so, I've put this section on the bottom and kind of jiggered it all around. So this is your turn off section, your stowaway section, your drop section. So you get your rubbish, your grey waste, your toilet, and then sizes. Mm -hmm. So what we'll do, Tracy and Neil coming at the weekend, they'll laminate that for us. Yeah, they've got a laminator. Um, if actually, anybody we knows... Have, we won't have those details yet, will we? Uh, that's true. Well, we never know because we might be getting back on Friday before they come. That's a good point. So we will get that printed on, get them to laminate it, and we'll keep one in the back and one above the... Yeah, Drivers if anybody knows it. anything else that we need to put on that list, let us know. Yeah, so what we're, when, we're, when we're hooked up, we'll let that dangle so you can't drive away yeah. without checking it. Yeah. So when it's not, it'll just fold it away. Yeah. Right, it's windy. We're in town. Let me just stop this thing from flapping. Uh, we're in town. The kids um, are about 10, 15 minutes away, so we're just going to nip down to the seafront and then we're going to take them to a new cafe called Rage Quit, which is a gaming cafe. It's just Lee that wants to go really. The kids just want the milkshakes. It looks like a summer's day, doesn't it? Well, but if you were here, well, if you were here and you were feeling this wind, it's bleeding, freezing. But it does look like you would just get your bucket and spade out and sit on the sand. You ever used to do that as a kid? Yeah. Bucket and spade? Of course I did. Well, why would you? Because I know what you like. Oh, it's, I don't want to get mucky. Right, we're in the cafe. We didn't go in rage quit. We quit it because they don't have any food. No food. It's just video games and drinks. But. So weird. we're hungry. So we've come to another one that's just been refurbed called Cloud9. So we're trying that. It's a very swanky, posh looking... A lot of the places in this town that are going like this, aren't they? Mm. About green velvet and like... Oh my God. Fancy walls and things. Never seen them before. Yeah. Brown by Chris. Anyway, we've ordered a buttermilk wrap. 
The girls have got mocktails. Right, um, we're out of the cafe. Um, we were going to take the kids down to the amusements just as we came out. We had a bit of a mood around a charity shop as well. Um, the same charity shop that I actually got my mum's wheelchair from uh, when she was poorly. I, I hide it from there. And um, my dad got a couple of DVDs. My dad bought some 10 pence DVDs. I'm like, most of it you can stream online. It's just, you, you, you can't explain it to him anyway. Anyway, it's just started to rain, so we've decided to go back to the lodge. We're going to go take the kids to the lounge at the lodge, have a cup of coffee, chill out. It's nice and warm in there. It's freezing cold outside. Even though it says 12 on the car, it's the wind, isn't it's it? the wind chill that makes it feel like 6. Now it's starting to rain. Yeah, and it's raining. So it is due, the sun is due to come back out again later on today, but um, who knows. Why the hell has Uncle Lee bought you a sodding whistle? Of course. I thought it were a whistle. Well, don't buy... It was in a Hello Kitty surprise. Thing. Well, get us something else to replace it. Take it to pub and leave it. Leave her in pub. I'm taking the pee out. The lights in this pub are going nuts it's with the camera. Bulb of yeah, there's a faulty bulb of us, but we're having a um, chicken tikka masala each. Right, we're back. We couldn't really film at the yet pub because the, uh, of the the flickering light, the light. Well, and the music. But we're back and we have Easter treats. Oh, dozens are good. Oh, we made some. And it's mash up. You've, made, you've not made them. Yeah. Have you? Well, we put them in like a mold. A mold. It, like a chocolate mold. Easter eater mold. What chocolate is it? Just um. Well, I'll have a. I'll have a. I'll have that. Uh, Cadbury's were in here, mixed in with here. Yeah, but what? Mm. Is, that, can't remember. is that like... It's nice chocolate, you like it? I can't remember. Fussy bugger. And what chocolate, like chocolate is it? What chocolate is it? I don't like cheap cooking chocolate. Not mm. No, not cooking chocolate, it's nice. Mm. The white ones are white chocolate. Uh, the white yeah. ones are yeah. white yeah. chocolate, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. Let me get a pick. I'm going to have one of them, I know, with a cup of tea. And it's they're galaxy. Smarties. It does taste like Galaxy, actually. It's, galaxy. One's, it's Cadbury's and something else, I can't remember. Mmm. Welcome to another new day. We're cracking through these days in this vlog. Um, it's actually mid uh, afternoon Where now. Are my keys here. Dad's here. <laughs> Forgot Sorry. his keys. <laughs> They've just been in the hot tub, uh, my mum and sister, and uh, we've just been having a coffee. So Nick has just come up with something. Uh, thanks to the Disney wives, uh, one of their friends makes lots of cakes and stuff, which you may have seen at Christmas. They give us a big box full of. Um, Christmas Eve was of, of nice cakes and stuff and the their friend has opened a shop now so Nick says why don't we go to this bakery uh, see if we can get the girls something off something I'm sure, I'm, I'm sure they'll uh, like a nice bun and then we might go out for fish and chips because when the family come over they like to go for fish and chips and curry sauce and stuff like that like when you go to the seaside and you like um, fish and chips where are you? Are you ready? Well I've got khaki it's in my pocket. I'm all ready to go. So, uh, fish and chips and a new bakery. She comes whistling Lil. I'll swap that bun. I'll swap that, that whistle for a bun. How about that for a, for a, good, a good swap? No, they've already said they don't want cake. Oh, that's they don't fine, want then. cake, so bun. No, then. when I said that! Right, then, whistle. <laughs> whistle for a bun. Whistle or a bun. We found it. It's called... Oh, celebration, it's called. Celebration cookies and cakes. <laughs> Let's go and have a look. We've literally just bought everything left in the shop. Like everything. There's Emma nothing, tagged us in it and said, come here. Left. She didn't tell us she'd bought everything. They only had a few buns left, yeah. but we'll show you. Well, let's have a, we've got these pies. Let's go across the road first, which are curried. Curried sausage, sausage rolls. rolls. Sausage rolls. Mango chutney. Yeah, so we got four of them for tonight's uh, meal. We'll just get a bit of salad to go with them or something. Maybe some chips or and something. And we've got all the cupcakes. Oh, oh they're upside down. And cherry them. crumbles. Yeah. So Disney wife Emma tagged us in that. Um, place on Facebook and she sent us a picture of the cabinet filled with cakes and buns. What she failed to um, tell us was that she'd bought most of it out herself. 
Um, so when we got there, there was just enough for... Uh, did we get five cupcakes? Five sure cupcakes and two cherry crumbles. Yeah, and then they were selling those sausage rolls off. And she was like, these are um, sausage rolls with... Um, curried sausage rolls with mango chutney. And we like, ooh, they, they sound smell, good as well. So we're like, amazing. we'll have all the sausage rolls and all the buns that they've got left. So we literally cleared them out of everything. She's had to shut now. Yeah, she's shutting and she says she's going back home to bit start baking for tomorrow. Um, so a nice place, but maybe get there early because it seems to be a popular place as yeah, well. Yeah, beat the wives. Yeah, so we're now going to go and park on the front and then find Busy Bee's Fish and Chips restaurant. There's many um, branches of Busy Bee's in Brid. We like to go to this one, it's usually quieter. Fish, chips and curry sauce. And here Nick will now put on half a bottle of um, vinegar. Watered down vinegar. Which he thinks is watered down. You always said that when Look you were coming it. here. You can see through it. It's like being a pin and wine. <laughs> Come down to the front so they can uh, have a look at the sea. It's freezing. <laughs> this is for your idea. Should we go in arcades and then be warm? Yes. Right, tell them Connick where we're off. Let's get in arcades and it'll be warm. You might have a smile on your face. Yeah, but we've got a we've got a mile to walk to get come there. Come on, come on. Spend cashed in for a penny chew. Oh, we'll see what I can get with that. They think they're good. <laughs> it's something's I a grumpy. When I was a kid, I went to Blackpool with my grandma and I put 20 quid in on these machines and I was going to Fiverr. And I remember, I remember walking away thinking, Oh my god, I'm going to Fiverr. And my grandma pointed out, We actually, you have you've lost 15 quid. And then ever since then, I've like, learned my lesson and I've never done it. But I bet you had fun though. I did, but after that, I thought, Wait a minute, that's just a mugs game. Let's go see what we can get. They're going on this simulation. Which one of the pigs? Canyon, like. Fifty-one tickets, two penny shoes in each. Another beautiful day in sunny England. <laughs> we've just seen a lovely lady who gave her get yeah, hi to the uh, lady that we just met. She was called Karen. I think so. Yeah, she had a little, uh, a little dog. chihuahua, nesting yeah. chihuahua dog in a little pram. It was really cute. Thank you for anyway, the girls some of the tickets. The girls some of their tickets. They've got some more uh, lollipops and shoes and all sorts of stuff. I think we're heading back now because it's just cold. Absolutely Baltic. Some people out windsurfing or on a surfboard or something down there. I know, it's freaking freezing. I suppose it is good for uh, things like that. And there's some kite flyers as well. Jump on. Which one are you having? Oh, you're... Um... I'm just frying the crumble. Anybody want the cake yet? No. We'll have it after his um, mm. sausage roll. It needs a bit of custard, but it's delicious. You forgot to buy any, didn't you? Oh, uh right. -huh. Mm. Don't forget, that's yours. You've eaten... I got two. Time for tea, and um, we're having cheese that we got from the shop today. Which one? Which is mouldy. Disgusting. So that's Tesco's Jack cheese. It's in date. Oh, it's in date. I didn't realise it was Tesco's. It wasn't Tesco's though, it was a premium. No, but Jack's is a Tesco brand. Where they sell in other shops, but it's mouldy so and manky. throw that away? Well, I'm, I'm going to... £2.49 now. It's not, don't worry, I'm going to be emailing them. 
I've took pictures. I don't care, they should sell more of the friggin' cheese. It's in date and it should be it should be fine until it's until it's out of date. We want all having, um, I know. Well the other bag is is intact, always, so that's fine. We could always make mashes with that. Well What do you think? You want yours from this? Manky cheese you want manky cheese on your toasty? We can pick it out. Let us see it. Let us see it. We don't look. We can pick it out. <laughs> you don't want that on your you don't want that in your sweet corn then. Smell it! Smell it! It smells, actually it smells, it smells fine. Well yeah, but I'm not freaking eating it. What? That's not been refrigerated, that's the problem. Um, so we we currently, match I best check this week on because we got that from the same place. That was sealed though, wasn't it? Like proper manual. So was that. And um, somehow and somewhere, a, a, a crumble's disappeared. I don't know so, how. Um, doing the girls some... Um, yes, she will. Well, I'm doing one of them. non mouldy um, Just masha don't want cheese. Oh, you don't like cheese. So she looks like she's having she she's having sweets for for um, for dinner. You trying this? What a lot yeah, of our but it's bloody hot viewers have recommended. Hey, it's good though, isn't it? It's a good idea, actually. Yeah. So uh, butter on um, bread. Right, that's Masha's because she wants the boring flavour. <laughs> hey, Masha, one boring sweet corn. Well, I'd like to try at some point um, what somebody said on our comments, and I've heard it before. Get some Doritos, crush it up. And, and put it on quite like that idea. Yeah. Right, next one's done. Oh, it's nice when the kids find something to do in the bedroom. They're on the tablets trying to buy Boca Loca Talk dresses. Talk about Boca. Apart from it's filled up with space, and she's just come out to me five minutes ago saying, "Can you can you clear some space?" Oh, where have the bubbles gone? No <laughs> idea. Oh, I love that though. There's only two left. A little lint. I'm gonna have this one with oh, it. Yeah. Are you having one, Mum? Do you want a cup of tea? I wonder if I was, I was going to have that one. My mum. There's one for my mum, one for the dad there. And you've had yours. And I'm going to have this. So I'm going to finish the vlog. Thank you for watching today, guys. <laughs> Nick's just stuffing a lint in his um, mush. Hopefully, in the next vlog, the uh, van will be back. I love chocolate balls. Fully wrapped in her new colour. And um, I don't think she'll be back till Tuesday. Well, that's probably going to be the next vlog anyway. So, uh, thanks for watching today, guys. Hit the like button, turn the notification bell, drop us a comment below. Mm. I'm going to go and enjoy this um, cupcake. Can you make a meal? Okay. Only if you want one.